This image of Yoko Ono and Megan Mullally was uh, done for InStyle magazine, and there was a whole um, series that InStyle was doing at the time where it was they would take someone like Megan and they say, "Who was your like biggest inspiration in your life and your acting or, or music or you know, whatever?" And she chose Yoko Ono. Then they would go to Yoko Ono and they say, "Megan Mullally has you know, been very inspired by you. Would you pose for this photograph?" And when they agreed, and they, they, you know, they get the two of them together, and then that's what we did this photograph for. Obviously, uh, Megan was really into the fact that Yoko was um, a musician and that she lived in New York City. So we had this idea that we would shoot on a, you know, just kind of quintessential New York, you know, cityscape on a rooftop with the Empire State Building. We had one of those beautiful, like, blue skies with the big puffy clouds and everything. So basically, I, I had them on the rooftop. It was very windy. And it was, of course, you never shoot in when it's optimum light. It was probably like one in the afternoon on a summer day, and it was, the sun was very overhead, not very flattering. So I knew that I needed to have a strong key light and something that would be soft and kind of open up the shadows, so it wouldn't be it would be you know more forgiving, especially um, for for Yoko and, and Megan. And um, but I wanted just like a large source. So for this lighting setup, I used a seven foot giant two 2400 packs, a bi-tube, and a diffuser on the front of the reflector. It was on a 14-foot um, crankivator stand, just off camera left, and it was a stop and a half over ambient. And the challenge was it was very, very windy. So we had um, sash cords that were tied down and tied to like, you know, water heaters or wherever, different things outside sandbags, to, and then had assistants standing on it as well. And I remember at one point, it was like they were like wind surfing along the, the through the roof with this giant umbrella, but uh, we were we were able to get the shot. And um, I often mix the strobe with the ambient. Sometimes I like to overpower it a lot and get kind of that night for day kind of look for for effect. Or sometimes, especially outside with a ring flash, and really drop the background down so it almost looks like nighttime. But a lot of times I just like to get that fine line where it's balanced just perfectly, where maybe it's like a half or a stop over the ambient mixed maybe with a rim light or even with HMI or a blast of daylight through reflectors so it just really has a very nice natural quality and the, the strobe is just adding a little kiss there but not overpowering anything, it's very subtle. Yoko was very playful and she was kind of getting into the music and they were playing air guitar and kind of jamming and she, you know, she totally got into it but she was having fun with it.